taking a different route home than I usually do. This is a road that has a very specific memory anchored to it. The first time I drove home from the hospital after my son Aryan got sick as an infant, 17 days old, struck with spinal meningitis, rushed down 50 miles away to Davis Medical Center in Sacramento. I had been down there for several days when we learned that his diagnosis was permanent brain damage and that if he survived, he would be forever altered. I had that knowledge in me. We had two other well children, our daughters, I don't know, five and three. <coughs> and their grandmother had been with them and so she needed to be relieved. So I came home to take care of the girls while their mother stayed in Sacramento at the hospital. And this is the road I came in on. It was night, dark, that stretch of dark winding highway as it began to sink in that my life was forever changed as a father, as a person. All my goals were now realigned. Everything I had planned was out the window and I was starting over trying to figure out how to care for a disabled child. As I was thinking these dark thoughts in just a swirl of depression, driving home to try to figure out how to tell my little daughters that their baby brother was really sick. And I bought them some hobby horses from the gift shop that were behind me. I was all worried about that encounter. And on this highway with these thoughts, all of a sudden, they came tritting along the highway in my headlights. Four raccoons. Papa, Mama, older sibling, younger sibling. In that order, in that size, they were all exactly equidistantly spaced and they were like bloop, 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 bloop across the highway in such perfect synchrony that it literally was something out of like Disney, out of like a Bambi movie. It, it was so shocking that that had actually just happened in front of me that I busted out laughing. I just laughed out loud. Driving home on this road, going home, in fact, I'm, I'm about 30 seconds from the turn-in. That burst of mirth and whimsy and humor in the midst of that dark time was revolutionary for me and the first of many profound lessons that I would have over the next 20 years. But driving along this road under completely different circumstances in a much happier place, I just had that memory triggered by this place. So I thought I'd share it. As dark as life might seem at times, you don't know where it will bring you. And in my experience, if you stay on the path, it always ends up well.